Hello, my name is Marcus with MLC CAD Systems, and I'm going to walk you through how to install SOLIDWORKS, any SOLIDWORKS product, on a client machine. You'll need a few things before you get started. If this is the first time SOLIDWORKS has been installed on this machine, you will need the serial numbers. Those should have been emailed to you after your purchase. You need the installation files, which you can get from the MLC CAD website on the support page, from SOLIDWORKS.com by logging into the customer portal, or you can request a DVD. Check the comments in this video for full links to each one of those options. You'll also want to know if you have any special file locations, such as a network shared toolbox or a license manager location, because those will need to be entered at some point along the way. If this is just an upgrade, most of these are not going to be needed. The default download location is under Documents, SolidWorks Downloads. Just open up the version you want to install and run setup.exe. We want to choose to install on this computer. This is an individual installation. Any SOLIDWORKS product can be installed this way. You'll need to enter your serial number. Now you can enter it manually or you can copy paste from a text file or a spreadsheet. Keep in mind each serial number may license multiple products, but if you have separate serial numbers for each additional product, you can expand and activate each of those products here. Keep in mind, this is not going to determine what gets installed, only which licenses need to be entered. Often, only one serial number is required. If you're using online licensing, click the Login button. The login to your SOLIDWORKS ID will contain all license information necessary for you to use SOLIDWORKS. Click Next, and if any messages come up, read them carefully. You may see a message such as, do you want to upgrade? Choose whether you want to create a new installation side by side with the old one, or whether you want to upgrade it and have only one version going at a time. On the summary page, there's several different options here that may need to be reviewed. Simply so really go through each one and take a look. These should be automatically configured based on the serial numbers that you entered, but there may be some manual modification necessary. You can choose which products to install. You also have the ability to choose whether or not to use an existing toolbox and upgrade it, or to use a shared toolbox. If you have other products to install, such as SOLIDWORKS Electrical, additional information will need to be provided, but we have separate videos to explain each of those other steps. Once all the options have been addressed, you can go ahead and click Next, and it will install all the requested products and SOLIDWORKS on your machine. When it's complete, you have two options. You can take a look at the What's New Guide if you want, then you can choose on the Customer Feedback Program. I do recommend you get involved in the Customer Experience Program. It helps SOLIDWORKS to create a better product. The only thing left to do is run SOLIDWORKS and make sure it works. You may see a dialog that comes up about activation. Just simply choose all the options to automatically activate over the internet. If it's a network license, you'll need to make sure that you have connection to the server. And if at any point you run into any issues, please don't hesitate to reach out to mlc-cad.com or your reseller if appropriate. <laughs>